Hey guys, Edward Solomon's Landscape and Design here. Just wanted to do a quick video real quick. It's getting a little warm out here. I don't know if you see the sweat on my face or not, but it's starting. I'm starting to sweat. Uh, I think spring is finally letting go and summer's coming in. Uh, and <laughs> crazy, it's the end of May and it's now just starting to do this, um, which is fine. We'll take the cooler weather, but I think it's I think it's about over and we're going to get into our summer season hot hot high humidity dry and uh, no fun being out there um, so today I want to take a few minutes to talk about uh, safety as far as hydration especially now that we're starting to get into the warmer uh, season and the summer time summer season uh, it is going to get hot out there it is going to get humid out there uh, humid working in the humidity is a little bit harder um, because that water just sticks to you and it just sucks the life out of you um, but regardless, um, the best thing to do, as a, if you possibly can, um, take frequent breaks. If you're working outdoors, if you're you know, working in your home, perfect. You can just go back into the house for you know an hour or so and come back out. Uh, the downfall, obviously, we we are working outside pretty much on a regular basis all day long. Um, so we, you know, if you are doing that, just be co cognizant and aware of your body and what it's telling you. You know, constant sweating is good. If you stop sweating uh, altogether, that's not a good sign. Thirst, be constantly drinking water. In fact, I'm now here for a couple minutes and now I need to grab some water so I know I'm getting dehydrated. Um, but always keep some cold beverages, cold water especially nearby, some cold Gatorades nearby, just in case and you wanna constantly drink those uh, beverages on a regular basis because you lose so much sweat and you lose so much water throughout the day especially in our climates so just keep in mind that you want to drink plenty plenty of water uh, some of the signs are you know like I mentioned earlier you're not sweating anymore you start to get headaches you feel dizzy lightheadedness um, those are some signs also nauseous and you know the stomach starts not feeling too good that's another sign as well um, so if you do that, more than likely you're already dehydrated. So I recommend going into a cool uh, place to cool down. Um, you know, take the water, sprinkle it over your head, uh, find a shady spot to hang out. Um, if you're planning to come back, I would probably recommend just hanging out in the shade under an umbrella or porch, something like that. If you do want to go inside, that's fine. Just know that. You keep going in and out of air conditioning, especially when it's hot, you know, 90 degrees outside and you go back in, back and forth between hot and cold, cool, you know, cause probably 70 or so in the house and it's nine degrees outside. That could cause some issues too as well. Um, back con that constant back and forth. So if you're doing that, that's perfectly fine. Just take longer breaks inside um, before you head back out uh, so your body can acclimate properly. So again, I mean, just keep those uh, tips in mind. Headaches, which uh, starting to feel some hats. I'm not wearing one. I can actually feel the sun starting to bake my head now. Um, sunscreen, plenty of water, uh, frequent breaks. Hang out in the shade if you have to. If you need to sit down, if you need to, um, just you know, if you start feeling dizzy, start getting a headache, starting to get thirsty. If you are, if you're already thirsty, if you're thirsty already, it's too late. Um, and those kind of things. Just kind of be careful, be mindful, pay attention to your body. Nauseousness in your stomach, not feeling good, like a pit in your stomach, that's a sign as well. If you can, get to a cooler place, cool down, and then if you need to go on, then go down off it after you cool down. So again, those are just some tips uh, for working out in the sun, because I know we're about to get there, and uh, people are coming out and about now that it's finally nice. Now that, the sun, now that the rain is gone and the sun is coming out, the, the temperatures are coming up, so people are starting to come out a little bit more. Uh, so just be careful when you are working in your yard or outside you know, and doing anything outside, um, you know, because it will, it can cause issues and can cause um, sicknesses that uh, you'd rather not have and, you know, try to avoid that at all costs if you can. So again, if you have any questions, concerns, drop them below. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.